Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, welcome to another one of my Case Clicker campaign videos. This video series, if you are new to it, is a video series where I'm playing Case Clicker from the very start when you're like silver nothing account and you have no money and you're getting nothing for tap and you can open no interesting cases to the very end where we're gonna be having Dragon Lords, Medusas, Karabit Fades, all the cool stuff really. I'm recording every single bit of the gameplay, I'm splitting it up in different types of episodes. This episode here is the clicking episode, meaning that this is where I click for the money that I'm going to be needing in order to do unboxings in the next episode and in the one after that. The plan is to click in for at least 7000 in this episode, possibly also some cases. Then in the following episode I'm going to be unboxing the cases and the episode after that I'm going to be opening cobblestone collection packages. So once again I managed to load up the game a bit before recording so that I can make sure that the bonus weapon, the freebie, is listed somewhere on the screen that suits me before I started tapping. As you can see there is a small gun down by the dailies with the exclamation mark. And that's the thing I'm talking about. I don't want that to appear up here in the money tapping area because what it means is that when I accidentally click it, I will get it and that may just reset my combo multiplier so that I will be getting money slower than what I want. And since I'm gonna be clicking for like around 7,000, I may just need to do around the five because I did have some money left over from yesterday. But I may also just decide to go a little silly pants in on grabbing a bit of like extra money so that I have it um, <clears throat> but anyway having to click for that much money I don't want to to be resetting the combo multiplier over and over again so it is very important for me that the freebie weapon is appearing somewhere safe out of touch out of click and it's um, it's pretty good where it is over there so the first part of, uh, of this is really just working up a pretty boring combo not my favorite part of the game let's just be honest about it um, I enjoy this as a clicking game I like clicking games that is no secret I play a lot of different clicking games because I really do like clicking games but the combo build up <coughs> <coughs> yeah it's um, it's not that fun in the long run but it gets it gets fun once you have the 10x combo and you're raking in the easy money the fast way and you know I'm raking in stuff that I can use for something now instead of just getting four or five cents per tap it's really really silly pants nothing it's much more interesting when you know each time I'm tapping I'm getting around half a buck yeah especially if you're going a little faster than what I'm clicking right now but um I've been clicking quite a bit today, I've been playing a lot of football clicker and you guys have probably not noticed that because I am sharing my PvP clicking game videos on another channel that I made called Competitive Clicker Games. I did add in a link to it on my uh, YouTube channel so that you guys can scoop over there if you are interested in the competitive clicker games, games such as Warriors of Num Num being my favorite competitive clicker game, Civ Minor and of course football clicker both aquatic games so <clears throat> yeah I'm trying to to split videos up just a little bit so that it's gonna be easier for those of you that have like specific and niche games that you also enjoy for us to uh, connect and chat about them without like flooding the place with like videos unrelated to that I also started yesterday uploading videos without enabling the notify subscribers feature to see how that reflects on the amount of people that watch the videos and to see how it reflects on the amount of people that find it annoying that I'm sharing uh, the amount of videos that I am because a lot of you guys from what I have read in the messages and comments you're used to channels that like upload a video on a daily basis perhaps just like three videos in a week and I'm not doing that stuff I'm doing a bit more than that sometimes I go 20 videos in a day sometimes even more and 
I accidentally, at some point when I made like standard settings for my videos, I set the enable subscribers notification to be enabled for everything that I do. And yeah, that was not really intentional, but it has just been, been enabled and I kind of forgot about it. So obviously a lot of you guys that use your subscriber channel feed thing um, got quite flooded with my video updates. So I'm trying for a period now to completely disable it and just really enable it with like one video on a daily basis. And during the next at least few days, it is going to be when I upload the daily Karambit giveaway video. So everything else that I upload is going to be uploaded like um, in a quiet way and I do hope that those of you that enjoy those videos are gonna be scooping by the channel anyway to see if I have uploaded anything but yeah that's uh, it's a time is gonna tell kind of thing because of course the most important thing for me in terms of sharing videos I mean yeah number one is that I play games that I think is crazy cool fun and amazing and I like sharing that but the next part is, of course, that it is available for people to actually enjoy, meaning that if you are relying on your channel feed to see if the videos are available and you don't notice them because I don't have that option enabled, then, of course, I'm going to be enabling it again. But I'm going to try out, I'm thinking at least for a week, to just completely remove that feature from my publishing, except for the one video on a daily basis. And of course what I'm hoping is that you guys are going to be scooping by every now and then and you're going to see that I'm uploading videos anyway and you're just not getting like completely flooded in your in your feed with videos from me about loads of different uh, games I'm testing and playing and trying out so um, it's it's a long process for me really to try to find out what is what is the best way for me to have a YouTube channel? What makes sense in a lot of ways? And really, how do we all have this together in a way that is as enjoyable as possible for as many people as possible? <coughs> not just me, not just the people that enjoy 50 videos in a day and not just the people that enjoy one video every three days. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's a work in progress thing. I'm learning every day. I'm doing my best to look into all the kind of statistics I can to find out all the things that I'm doing. Are they working in terms of you guys enjoying the things that I do more or less? And as always, the, the comments, the thumbs up, the thumbs down, those are all indications that you can use to tell me if you think I'm moving in the right direction and I say that like completely honest um, I know that I have a few people that almost instantly dislike anything I upload and yeah there are some people that are a bit upset with the amount of attention my channel has gotten especially in terms of case clicker videos so there are some people out there managing that kind of frustration by by disliking and posting bad comments and that is that is what it is but besides those individuals um, I do actually appreciate the, the thumb down for what it is as an indication that this was not really what you were hoping to see on my channel or you didn't really like the way this video was recorded or the sound in the video was very bad. As a standalone feature, I don't think the thumbs down is really that useful because it doesn't give me more insight. It's just, I don't think this is cool, but it doesn't really allow me to, to do much better. So it leaves me with a lot of guessing about why, meaning that I have to not have to, but I do spend a lot of time looking into the videos that are getting a lot of dislikes, trying to find out what did I do wrong in this video that resulted in like such a high amount of dislikes so that I can try to make videos better the next time around. And sometimes my conclusion is just that the people that saw this video just didn't really like that game or were hoping to see something else or you know stuff like that is that's also I mean 
most of it is based on guessing when there are no comments attached so like the craziest most cool thing you guys can do regardless of whether you like enjoy or dislike the things I'm doing is just to leave me a one-liner because I do read all comments and I really I really appreciate constructive feedback uh, I really do that so um, so always a very welcome thing and while I've been jabbering about that really I have been silently moving past the milestone in my clicking video here which is the 6x combo and I like that because everything after the 6x combo is just where I think things are going pretty pretty fast I'm getting money in very very easily just by tapping and almost the 7x combo here I have closing in on three and a half thousand so we are in a pretty good position since money is just coming in faster and faster and faster now almost seven times faster than when we started and I actually just need to rake in three and a half thousand more before I am on like the safe side in terms of what I need to do the unboxings I want to do today in the Bravo cases, the Chroma 2 cases, the CSGO weapon cases with a stat track guarantee and the 100 cobblestone collection packages as well so that is very nice oh yes it is it is very nice oh I can really feel my fingers uh, have been used on football clicker <laughs> I have been tapping insane amounts of taps in that game it is, um, it is a very special clicking game very hardcore I think um, I haven't really decided how much I want to crush it in that game. Uh, a lot of it comes down to how the reset works once the week ends because the point where I am at in the game, if I don't reset and I go down to easy mode, it's going to be very hard to rake in medals in that game in the long run. But yeah, anyway, I'm talking more about that, of course, in. Um, in the videos on the competitive clicker channel where my focus area is gaming in that type of games for here I am really really hoping that today is going to be the day where I get the fade I think that is today's hope like number one and for those of you that are completely new to my channel and you're wondering how can you be giving away Karabit fades like you're doing on a daily basis now in the giveaway and then sit here talking about wanting to get it, it's because I have multiple devices and this device that I'm holding here is my daughter's iPad mini and on this device I'm playing the campaign series it is a completely isolated game it has no trading, it has no jackpot, everything here is done by tapping and by unboxing the vanilla way so to say and that is because I wanted to do this, I wanted to try to I want to say complete the game but I guess you can't really do that but I wanted to try to obtain the rarest item in the game without any outside interference basing it only on clicking for money no passive income as you can see I have zero per second every single cent that we are earning in this game here is done by clicking obviously I've been selling some skins as well so this is like trying to get things the really hard way where nothing is easy paint there is no weird duping no no questions about anything except what kind of luck are we gonna be having today when we do the unboxing and like I think this video series demonstrates pretty insanely how rare the rare items in this game really are because getting a factory new dragon law I mean I do that on a daily basis often several times from the jackpots and if I don't get it I end up contracting myself to one or two so getting those high-end crazy pants items is pretty easy in the game when you when you use the other options but if you consider the rarity of a factory new dragon law or a factory new AK-47 fire serpent or the crazy factory new karambit fade like stat track the chance of getting that is insanely low in the game if you aren't using jackpots if you aren't trading if you you cannot obviously contract yourself to the karambit fade but 
you can do that with the fire serpent and with the medusa and with the dragon lord but i think it is really cool to try to obtain those crazy rare items in a way that allows them to be really really rare like pristine epic kind of rare and I'm looking so much forward to when I get the first one of them. I have none of them. I do have a Karambit Fade Factory New, but I got it at a time where I wasn't unboxing with a Snap Track guarantee. So it is just what it is a Factory New Dragon, not Dragon Law, Karambit Fade, which is cool. It's a very nice item. It's just not there yet, and that is what I want. I want the Factory New Dragon Law, the Factory New Medusa. I want the Factory New. AK-47 Fire Serpent with a stat track guarantee. I want the factory new Karambit Fade with a stat track guarantee. And when I have those, I want to enable the jackpot because that is the only way that I can get my hands on a factory new Howl stat track as well. Because you cannot unbox yourself to that. You cannot contract yourself to that. The only way to obtain it is through the jackpot. But since I want to open the other like unbox the other items, the hard way, the vanilla way, however you want to put it. I'm not going to be enabling the jackpot here until I have them. I was considering doing it, I was thinking about doing it, and then if I would get those pristine super rare items, I would just sell them or possibly trade them away. But I kind of know, because I just may fall in, you know, I may just decide to keep it or you know something so I'm not going to be enabling the jackpot until I have reached the game goal the original goals I set and that is to obtain those crazy pants rare items and just enjoy them for what they are insanely rare very very special and very hard to get it takes a great deal of dedication or a massive amount of luck to rake in those items by doing it this way here and I'm not this is not something I'm recommending you guys do <laughs> of course not this is just I mean this is what I want to do uh, because I think it's really funny to try to get them this way originally when I started making this series I meant it as a guideline for people that wanted to progress in the game so that I I was showing how I would go from being silver to the global elite the decisions that I've thought were wise to make such as only adding in the bravo cases to the case search and stuff like that but after reaching the global elite i'm like a little sidetracked single focused on getting these items the hard way where of course i do recommend if you're playing this game and you have been following the campaign trying to mimic the things I've been doing of course you should go jackpot and you should go trades this is just something I'm doing because I already <clears throat> I've already done almost everything in the game several times I have a Danish campaign series that I'm playing as well even though I haven't been that good at updating it I have my iPhone where I have been crushing case clicker from the moment I got the game pretty much so it's this is this is the new interesting thing for me to do in case clicker or new more than a hundred episodes but it's another way of playing it that I think is really cool that adds a completely different type of value to the items besides the numbers that are written on them because you get you get to really feel how how rare the items are and yeah I like that I really do like that and I also like that I'm closing in on the 6000 here meaning that we have just one thousand to go give or take I think I'm gonna go 7500 again today that was what I did in yesterday's clicking episode as well. So yeah, I'm thinking that's a like good amount to go with. And once again, I also think that I will be tapping for the cases in this episode. And that is really another tryout I'm doing. Trying to... Even though I'm not using the subscriber notification feature on my uploads with these videos just trying to compact things a little bit so I don't appear as crazy floody pants as a lot of people have been sending me messages that they feel I am because that is not the intention behind the many videos I am uploading it's not to be floody spammy at all it's just because I I, I really feel it has been a nice way for me to structure the videos and yeah I game a lot and I share a lot and that 
really translates into a lot of videos. So, yeah. But, 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 but. Still almost only about a thousand from having tapped in the amount of money that I need for today's episode. And that's a very good thing. That is a very good thing. Even though I did kind of do the sneaky pants thing and start out with a little money this time, leftovers from yesterday. That's okay. It's always nice to have a little something something to work with when you start the episode. Because I am a bit time bumped these days. I have a lot of university work going on, some crazy pants projects we're working on. and. I need to do that on a daily basis until December 23rd at 23.59.59, so it's going to be taking up a great deal of my time. But I'm trying, really trying to set aside enough time for gaming for me to at least keep the Case Clipper, Clipper? Yeah, the Case Clicker campaign series alive moving forward, because it's a long journey, at least. The last more than a hundred episodes has shown that it is a great deal about luck. Today I could be getting both the Fire Serpent, the Karambit Fate and the Dragon Law in the unboxings, the factory new ones. I mean that is an actual possibility, I do hope that each and every time, but I could also get snake pants, just as I have done the other times. Not that I've been getting bad items, I've been getting really good items in a lot of the episodes, but just not the pristine, epic, unique, amazing pants ones that um, I set as goals for the series, really. So, Alrighty, so almost at the 7000 mark here, come on. There we have it, just another 500. Then I'm going to be taking a short pausing break where I brew myself a little fresh coffee and prepare to go silly pants nutty on tapping for cases down in the search progress get random case area part of the clicking I almost dropped the combo there because my fingers are insanely tired after football clicker yeah this is the most uh, I don't think I've been tapping this much like ever before since I started with football clicker it's pretty pretty intense amounts of clicks that are needed to progress at the high end of that game and I guess I kind of like that. So, 200 left, not much. Since Pentakill is playing now, I'm guessing that I'm gonna postpone my break just a little bit. Because I was actually in the mood to listen to that track, so. Just gonna tap the money here, and then I'm gonna start out with the cases before going breaky pants. And I know this is more than enough money, but. Still, once I say 7-5, I need to get 7-5. So, let's get the party started down in the search progress here. Just tapping, tapping, tapping. What I want is 50 Bravo cases. I'm going to be getting breakout cases as well, I don't really care about those. I'm going to be getting Chroma 2 cases, those will be unboxed as well. And I'm going to be getting CSGO weapon cases that I will be opening as well. So every single Chroma 2 case and CSGO weapon case that I rig in here while doing the search for cases up to the point where I have about 50 Bravo cases. It has been 51 quite a few times because I'm really bad at counting. At least when I'm recording it's like things just blur a little bit and I don't really pay that much attention. But whatever I get that isn't the breakout case up to the point where I have at least 50 Bravo cases is gonna get unboxed and opened in the next episode and that is what I'm looking the most forward to actually I do like doing the cobblestones I really do like <coughs> <coughs> unboxing those but I like cases more because they have that chance of random pants knife in addition to some decent and also of course junk but um, but rare items, so it has more to offer, I think, compared to doing the souvenirs. <coughs> Good thing I didn't have a combo build up here, so that I could change hands. Oh yeah. So this is also going to be taking some time. Normally I get these Bravo cases, or before I added in the Chroma 2s, it was like 1 and 4. 
give a take. Uh, it is a bit slower now that I have the Chroma 2 cases, but it means that I can unbox more cool things, and I don't really mind that. At the start I was a bit bummed about it, because, yeah, I didn't really feel the Chroma 2 cases had that much to offer, but I've got some pretty cool things in those cases so far, so yeah, I am really, really happy about having them in the rotation by now. And that is very nice. So, just gonna grab a few cases here as Pentakill wears out. And then I am gonna be having a short break, tapping for more cases in something close to a moment. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Alrighty, alrighty. So, let's get the music going again and search for more cases here. So, I just did briefly mention that I actively selected the types of cases that I have in the search for cases area down here and that is one of the questions I'm getting quite often and what it comes down to is the option you have in the upgrades area to unlock for instance Phoenix cases in the case search and basically what I did was just not to buy any of those until I got the Bravo and then I added the Bravo cases in the case search and yeah good times then I just had breakout and Bravo cases to to really work with and once I had done a decent amount of Bravo cases I added in the CSGO weapon cases and the most recent addition was uh, the Chroma 2 case just to slowly add more in there so that I can work up collections from the high end and down obviously the Chroma 2 case isn't the high end case but it is supposed to be a case where I can get the Karambit Fade in it, so that is like the main thought behind adding it in. Also, it was a suggestion by a lot of people that they would like to see the Chroma 2 case in rotation as well, so it has been added, and so far I've been getting quite a few good knives from it, but no Karambit Fades. I do think I got a Doppler once, or was it a Marble Fade? I cannot remember really, because I have been unboxing quite a few of them over the course of the case clicker campaign episodes so the other question that is related to the clicking episodes quite often anyway is how do I get these cases so fast when I'm tapping here I just instantly get these cases they just pop up in my face there is no case search animation and that is another thing that I do like to answer when I am searching for these cases it is in the game settings. I'm just going to get another Bravo case here before going in and showing it. But if you go into the game settings, there is an option called Case Draw Animations. It's found down here in the settings. In the gameplay options, you have Case Draw Animations. If that is enabled, if there is a check mark, then when you are searching for cases, you will get this rolling animation. And yeah, it looks cool. It looks awesome. I do think so. But when you're doing as many cases as I am, often on a daily basis then it's not something that I it's not something that I like to have enabled because it's a great deal of additional time added in for every single case that I am searching for and it's probably like 200 cases on a daily basis just on uh, on this campaign series here when including the breakout cases so so yeah it is it is something I've removed to speed up things and I'm very happy that I did that. <laughs> I haven't calculated how much time I have saved by removing that feature from the game, but um, I guess at some point I should look into the amount of cases I have unboxed and, well, search for throughout the series and then find out how much time I am saving on each case by not having the case draw animation. It would be a pretty cool small math thing to do not really that hard but um, and also it is uh, worth taking into consideration that these days we have a feature to show faster case draw animations when I did start this series we did not have that so the case draw animations were much slower than they are today so that is another small thing to like have in mind if doing such a calculation so I'm getting curious. I want to see how many cases I've been raking in so far. 
And what I like to do when I get curious is to get at least five <coughs> Bravo cases before I go in and look so that I'm just a little longer ahead than I was when I started wondering because if I don't do that I can see myself tapping on the cases uh, button, menu button all the time going in and out trying to see how many cases I have at any given point in the farming process here so just to limit myself a little bit making sure I don't go in and out all the time once I start wondering how many cases do I have I decide that I need to wait five Bravo cases before I go in and look and I have gotten two of those so far so just another three before I can go in and see oh, so freaking funny that was the third so come on Dr. Two more one more not that one there we have it so let's see 32 Bravo cases not bad not bad at all so just 18 left 17 that is nice oh yes it is sometimes they come in insanely fast sometimes it takes quite a while but I do feel today that it has been pretty snappy yesterday was also a pretty fast case searching day um, I do like those because especially now that I have merged the money clicking and the case clicking episodes back into one episode then I don't mind really if <laughs> the case searching goes a little faster because I can feel it in my fingers especially because I am playing the competitive clicker games on the side as well so a lot of clicking going on so doing so much in a row without a break yeah I can feel it I can feel it it's not hurting or anything it's just you can really feel how the fingers are getting tired and they're not dancing as swiftly on the touch screen oh come on don't be one of those rude episodes where I have to wait for ages in between the Bravo cases I'm actually in a bit of a time situation here where I don't have that much time to record this particular episode so I would really like to get the cases a bit snappy normally I record these episodes like around midnight where everybody is sleeping but this particular episode is being recorded in between some of my university work <coughs> that means I need to get back to that really because it's a group thing and I don't wanna have people waiting for me because I am doing case clicker so I do have like 10 minutes left or something like that so it should be all good was it 15 I th yeah about 15 minutes so I should be on the safe side but sometimes you just run into crazy pants bad luck and if that happens of course I'm just gonna be pausing the recording I will resume it later this evening and everything's gonna be good and dandy but it would be nice to have the recording done so that I can just get the video editing done get it uploaded YouTube needs to chew on it for a while make the thumbnail all that stuff so that I have a bit more time this evening to do other things really I need to do quite a bit of jackpot so that I have something cool to trade away during today's trade away video I did get some dragon laws yesterday obviously but I want more I also like variety really so so there's that Oh, I kind of lost count on the cases. I have like no idea how many I have. I was I was just thinking about like I need to uh, I need to pop in. Was it 18 more? And then I'm home safe. And now I'm like, what? How many have I gotten since I needed the 18? It's like, it's, yeah, that's what happens when you don't pay attention to the important things in life, such as how many Bravo cases you have and how many you haven't. But um, it's okay. I'm just gonna do another five then I will go in and look again once again my five rule comes into play here because if not each time I lose focus because I don't bother to count and pay attention I will just be going in and out of that small menu option and yeah it will have no end no end whatsoever So come on. Just gonna do one more here and then I will look. Hope to be close. 
49, good times, very good. So, loads of time left, how cool is that? Uh, so guys, that was pretty much it in this episode. In the next episode, gonna be opening 56 Chroma 2 cases, 50 Bravo cases and 13 CSGO weapon cases with the stat track guarantee. For now guys, thank you very much for watching.